Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm doing a first impression and wear test on Profusion's new foundation. This is called the Profusion Cosmetics Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector. This foundation costs $7 and this is what my skin looks like. So if you want to see my thoughts on this foundation and see how it looks at the end of the day for this wear test, then stay tuned and keep on watching. I am going to put on some moisturizer and let that sit for a little while. I use, I always use this cocoa butter. This is the Cocoa Care 100% Cocoa Butter. It says good for dry skin and stretch marks. I absolutely hate the packaging because it comes with this little push up like a push pop and you have to hold your finger under it. But I just literally put this like straight on my face and I put a lot. All right, so everything has set in. My skin feels so much better. I still need to prime, which I'll do right now. I'm using the Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup Primer. Y'all know I like to use this, especially for videos where I'm focusing more on drugstore products because I want to make sure that if you guys like the video and like how the look turns out, all the products will be easy for you to get. Plus, I like this primer and I need help with smoothing my pores. I feel like now, since my skin is dry, my pores show a lot more than they used to. All right, so while we let that set, we are gonna talk about the star of this show. This is the Pro Fusion Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector. I have mine in the shade Deep 3 Neutral, and it says it has hyaluronic acid, it's medium to full coverage with a natural satin finish and SPF 15. Now I will say I found this in Walmart. Everything that I'm using today, I'm looking to make sure. I recently kind of did a little mini haul. I was grocery shopping. Every time I go into a store that has makeup, I go in the makeup section. Comment below and let me know if you guys do that too. It's just a habit, like I wanna see what they have. So I didn't know Profusion was in Walmart and I didn't know that they had a foundation. So come to find out this is new but unfortunately there aren't that many shades. I think I am the deepest shade, which houseway. Let me double check to make sure that's right. Yeah, so according to the Profusion website, there are 12 shades. This is $7, that is it, seven bucks. And the darkest shade that they have is deep three, so yeah, they need to work on that because this is a really good option if you're looking for a hydrating drugstore foundation, but we'll see how it goes. So this is the packaging. It comes in a little squeeze tube, which these are not my favorite because I normally use too much product. Hopefully this matches. I had actually gotten the lighter shade and it tells you like this is a, on the website it said like, deep with neutral undertones and then the one before said like warm yellow tones and it was really yellow so it was too light and it was too yellow so hopefully this matches i like how it looks so far oh yeah this is definitely the kind of shade that i like so i'm just gonna put this on with my brush like i normally do and then go back over it with my sponge if needed. I'd say that was about a pump and a half. We'll go with that. I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush. I love the undertone of this. Ooh, yes. It does have a faint smell to it. I can't pinpoint what it is though. It's not bad, it's not bad. I kind of like it. I 
All right, guys, this is about a pump and a half, I would say. It says medium to full, which means it will be buildable. But as we can see, my skin does not look dry. It does not look cakey. This color match, I think, I mean, it looks good to me in the mirror. So this is what we have. This is what my skin looks like. You do see a little bit of the hyperpigmentation still showing, but I mean, I have that with high-end foundations too. So this would be ideally what I would wear just for like every day. I don't try to cover every single mark. I like how this looks a lot. And I do not feel like it's gonna like dry down and dry, look dried out on me. It is still a little tacky, so it has not dried down yet. I'm going to see, I'm going to let this sit just a little bit, but I'm going to see if this is buildable. And I'm taking the tiniest little bit. This is all I'm taking right here. And I'm just going to go back in on the areas that usually need a little more coverage. Definitely buildable. Yeah, now those spots are covered. Yeah, the color looks a little red for me, but like I said earlier, I am perfectly okay with that. So this is how my skin looks. I mean, I feel like this is flawless. Like this is absolutely gorgeous. And $7, like I might have to go back and buy <laughs> whatever else they have in the store oh wow all right so we're gonna let that sit and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face but this is where we're starting guys I decided while I was in Walmart to also pick up a few other things. So I'm just going to do a quick little look with that too. I found this Wanderlust palette by Profusion. Thought it was pretty. I've heard great things about their eyeshadows. So I wanted to give it a try. I like that it comes with a brush. It comes with this little brush here. And I do use this brush. I like it. I think I... I have one similar this one's a little shorter but this one's by Luxie um but I like using brushes like these to kind of blend either my transition color or a little bit deeper in the crease so I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette as well y'all are getting a two for one and I'm just gonna take my L'Oreal concealer for my primer All right, concealer's on. I forgot to tell you what shade I'm using. This is the shade 410 Almond. And then I also picked up this NYX Three Steps to Sculpt palette. And I'll, I don't know that I've seen this before, but I like that it has this really deep bronzer color. And then it has this yellow kind of banana color and then this highlighter, which is really pretty. It's not overpowering, just a nice little sheen, but it's very glowy. So I'm also going to show you guys this today. So I'm going to set my lids with the banana shade. And we're also going to use this palette for the rest of my face later. So for the eye look today, I'm not really sure what I want to do, but I'm going to start off with it's just a BH Cosmetics crease brush, a blending brush, the number five. And I'm going to go in with the shade Statement, which is this nice brown color, and just put that in my crease. Okay, then I'm going to take 
Nostalgia, which is the darker warm brown shade and then build up a little bit more. And just blend that out. Using the same brush. I'm struggling because I really want to try Majesty, but I feel like I kind of just did a green. I'm gonna go in with the gold. We'll do a neutral. <laughs> Barbara's neutrals are never neutral. Um, I'm gonna go in with Chill, which is the gold color on my lid. That picked up very well. And again, I always start by just pressing first to get down the majority of the product and then swiping to blend it out. It helps to not get fallout. You see, I don't have any yet, knock on wood. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that Profusion brush and I am going to take this darker brown again, Nostalgia. Well, let's try Coast and see if that's a little darker. It's cooler. We're just going to try to build up this crease a little bit. I don't want to do too, too much with the eyes today. I just want to give you guys a little glimpse at this palette. All right, just to see, we're going to take a little bit of majesty and I'm going to put that on the outer third to help blend in with the brown just to add a little more dimension and color and I think it pairs well with that yellow too with the gold all right so this is it for the eye look right now we're gonna stop here and then I'm gonna do my concealer and come back and show you some more products all right, so concealer is blended out and I just cleaned up the edges of my eyeshadow with it. And now I'm going to take the banana powder in the sculpting palette from NYX and just set my under eye. I normally use a smaller brush than this, but it's okay. So just want to set all this to make sure it doesn't move. For my face powder, I have this Wet n Wild Deep Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. And I'm gonna use this mainly because I don't feel like it's gonna be too heavy. This is also a new product, so I just opened this, but I'm gonna take a really, really big fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna go over my whole face with that. I mean, I barely used any of this. I'm not gonna use a lot because I don't want to tamper down on how dewy the product is. I'm talking about the foundation. So that's all we're gonna do for that. Now I'm gonna go back to the face palette and I'm going to use the contour bronzer shade and I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild contour brush that you saw in my haul. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'm just going to lightly pat that in first to get the product down and then blend upwards. It's a nice shade, not too warm, not too cool, so you can use it for both. Get this wide screen cinema. I always talk shit about my forehead. I don't care. It is what it is. And again, blend upwards. You don't want to blend down because blending down will make it look like you have a five o'clock shadow. You can see nice color there. I'm just going to take a little bit of what's left on the brush and go up the sides of my nose into my eyebrow. 
this foundation. I am in love so far. All right, so now we are going to see what this highlighter looks like. I'm just using my e.l.f. Small Taper Brush. And I like this because even though sometimes it picks up, it looks like it picks up a lot of product, it doesn't go on really heavy. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Get the highlight. Ooh, this is my jam. All right, this is a hit. Definitely like it. And they did have different shades. I do think this is the darkest shade that they had though. I'm also going to go in with another product from my haul that I haven't tried yet. This is my Elf Primer Infused Blush in Always Spicy. Y'all know how excited I was about this blush. And I've been waiting and I think it will be perfect with this look since we're doing, whoa. A lot picks up when I dip my brush in. This is literally my favorite blush shade. It's a matte, but with the highlight that we have going on and the slight dewiness from the foundation, this does not look flat on my face at all. Just a nice little wash of color. Y'all know how I love my blush. Barbara and her blush. I feel like I have to say that every time. All right, so let's finish the eyes. I'm going to do my normal drill. You know what? I want to see what this navy blue looks like. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it on my lower lash line. Kind of like a blue liner, but not. And I'm just taking this smudger brush. This is an e.l.f. smudger brush. Ooh, that's dark. Does anybody else stick themselves in the eye when they do this? Or is it just me? This is a fun way if you like wearing neutrals but you want to try color and you're scared to put them on your lid to start. This is a fun way to add a pop of color but still keep things toned down. That is pretty. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go back in with my gold. Look at that shine. And then I'm going to take Stormy, which is a shimmer blue, just to blend those together so we don't go straight from a matte to a shimmer. All right, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back with the final look. This is what my skin looks like. Love the foundation. I love how my skin looks right now. Like to me, this is a flawless complexion. I love all the products that I used. Um, I tried out something new. I found this Ardell Magnetic Liner and Lash Kit. And instead of it being the little brush liquid magnetic liner, it is this gel pot, which I haven't used a liner like this in forever, but the kiss one that i use actually burns my eyelids and i thought i was tripping but every time i use it that's what happens so i wanted to find something else to see if i could still use the magnetic lashes because i love them whenever i'm filming and i just want to put something on to do a look and then take it right back off so i've been really into these and this is just a nice wispy pair of lashes. I think it's very fitting for this look since it's not too glam. It's still a little glam, but this is toned down for me. I also use this Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, probably can't see this too well on here. This is in the shade Opal. Absolutely love. Like I will pop this on if I don't have anything on my lips. I feel like it helps kind of plump them and it definitely takes away from the dry and tightness that I feel. So this is it for the final look guys. It is currently 10.33. I probably started at about 9.30. There you see the time. This is our starting point. I am going to be out in the garage later today doing some rehab, a little bit of shoulder work. 
So we'll get to see how it deals with sweating, but I love this foundation. Absolutely love. I love the eyeshadow. Can't wait to play in the colors. Face looks good. I'll check in with you guys later. All right, guys, I am back for the final check-in. It is currently 9.07 p.m. So I've had this foundation on for almost 12 hours. Yes, I started around 9.30 this morning. I finished everything around 10.30 and then worked from home. I also ran some errands and then I went in the garage for a little while, did a little bit of cardio and some shoulders. So I did sweat a little bit, but I have not blotted one time. And I had a mask on for a little while. Um, I don't see... Maybe a little bit's rubbed off, but I also wasn't talking a lot. I just had to go return some stuff. So I really hope they come out with more shades for this foundation because I honestly think if there were enough and someone asked me for a good beginner foundation, I would say this. This is absolutely incredible. Long wearing. This is a hit. I love it. I'm glad I bought it and I'll probably go buy a backup. Thanks for tuning in for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and comment down below if you end up going to buy it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you know every time I upload. And if you like this style of video, give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys sticking with me to the end of the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.